and stood there and it's really put me on edge. It's freezing in here. So we're just on our way now to the next location we're going to be filming at, which is in the small village of Santon in, uh, in Norfolk, just outside Thedford. Now as you can see, James isn't actually with us today, and that's because I've been invited by a friend of mine to investigate the church there. And I've heard that um, having a woman on the investigations there and actually entering the church does enhance activity, hence Sophie's coming with us. Um, don't worry, you're not being used completely as bait. Thanks. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's been some absolutely outstanding stuff recorded there over the years. There's been some incredible EVP. We've got poltergeist activity, full-bodied apparitions, so a whole range of different activity. So I really, really can't wait to get there and investigate this place. The church we've come to investigate tonight is All Saints in Santon, Norfolk. It's not been used for worship since the 1970s, however it remains open to visitors and is maintained by the local parish council. The history of the church is quite unusual. In the 17th century, the original medieval church that stood here was entirely rebuilt, and then again in the 19th century another complete rebuild took place, meaning the majority of the church we see here today dates from less than 200 years ago. The reason for our visit here today is to investigate the claims of paranormal activity experienced here and even recorded inside the church with some of the best EVP I've ever heard as well as a number of other interesting phenomena. Eddie Mallet of Whispers in the Dark Paranormal Group has conducted numerous investigations at the church and has very kindly invited myself and Sophie here today to see for ourselves some of the incredible activity that occurs. So Eddie, first off, thank you very much for inviting us here today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, coming in straight off, both Sophie and I felt as soon as you walk in here, there is just that completely different atmosphere. Yeah, it um, is. Absolutely outstanding. What sort of stuff would you say is the sort of pinnacle of, of activity around here? Well, the main thing at the moment is we've got to have to have uh, EVPs. They're quite good. Um, that's one of the things that the church is so well known for. And um, had some beauties in time. You get footsteps, so you can hear the footsteps, sometimes hearing the odds or mm. like yeah. that. And another time, boom, boom. And that time you know you've got a blessing. Because I remember that there was one EVP that stood out beyond all the others, I think it was recorded in that sort of area. Yes. You know the one I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I do know the one I'm <laughs> talking about. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding, it it, full speech and everything. I can tell you now that uh, we were in here, all the rest was in the chancel here, uh, sorry, in the nave here. The recorder was in the, uh, in the, in the ola, on the ola, and I was in the pulpa. And I stood there and I said, would you like to hear us sing a hymn? And we all was there, we didn't hear a thing. Anyway, there I was, came back while well, it was a waste of time. Got back home, gone through the recordings. Whoa. Shit. Rewound it back again. I just couldn't believe it. That is, so is absolutely well, outstanding. Well. Um, and from what I understand, there is a couple of sort of characters that you sort of Yes, there is. No, in yeah. this church. Yes, there is. Um, <laughs> one, of them, be yeah, one of them, I believe, was, was it an old, an old vicar here? Yeah, he's a vicar. He was here around about 1638. I just heard a little groom there. So that's quite interesting. Check on playback on that. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's kicking off. 
But it was it uh, Reverend Kendall, was it? Yeah, Reverend yeah. yeah. Richard Kendall. And uh, so what sort of have you picked up from him sort of around here? Mostly from our friend Olaf Sparrow. And the one thing he did like was was his drink. Right. And he was well known in life for uh, sparing and cursing. And quite frankly, he's still sparing. He's still doing it to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't changed one bit. <laughs> Not at all. Not well, at all. Thank you very much. I think we'll get get sorted now. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> we'll get we'll get some stuff Seven. tonight. Anybody here with us tonight? You like to come and say hello? It's a lovely little church here. Very nice. My name's Luke. I just got an orb. I think some something. We just recorded this strange anomaly on camera, and seeing as I'm usually very sceptical about orb-based phenomena due to many different things being a possible cause, I decided to look deeper into what this could be. Later on in the evening, Sophie recorded multiple orb anomalies, but as you can see, they look and move completely differently to what I had just captured, and I believe these to be flying insects. Something else that's usually responsible for causing orbs is dust, so I stirred up dust in front of an infrared camera to try and recreate what I'd recorded, and as you can see, it looks very similar, meaning we would have to put this forward as the explanation. I just smelt lavender. I, that. I can't see, I can't stand the smell of lavender. I've heard that a few times, I can assure you. Sorry? Was it you that made the room sound super on there? I didn't say anything. Although I didn't hear it at the time, Eddie believed he heard a groan as I walked forwards. Captured on a camera's audio, you can actually hear what sounds like a man groaning. What's odd about this voice is that at the same time it was captured on my camera, Eddie's static night vision camera positioned in the nave also recorded a voice. The interesting thing is, is that on my camera, although it's much louder, it only comes across as a groan, whereas on Eddie's recording, actual dialogue is able to be made out. We believe it to be saying, he has no time. Are you around Eddie at the moment? I suppose you've seen Eddie here a lot, haven't you? That was me.
Just to say, I've, I've about five minutes now. I've had a bit of a headache coming on. Really? Yeah. Yeah, not bad, but you know, as you probably know, when that sort of. I see it one way you react to it, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's, it's once we started calling out, it sort of started coming on. Yeah. Perhaps you could sing for us? Maybe sing this part of a hymn? Already less than half an hour into our nighttime investigation at Sampton Church, we had captured an incredible amount of paranormal activity, but this was only the start of things to come. Maybe that's where I'm going to have a for you. Could you tell us your name, please? I've just smelled it. Smelled that, yeah? Yeah. You're about me at the moment. Can you tell me your name? That was me, yeah. It takes a lot worse after sitting in this bit. Yeah, worse. yeah. worse than it was over there. At the back. You said you had it over there. Yeah, it's like so since I've been sitting here, it's, it's got worse. Yeah. I say if it feels alright, it's just that's one thing I've noticed since coming here. There was a noise before that turned off though, wasn't there? There was a sort of noise. But they're supposed to not supposed to do that. No, I think I don't know. I will just go and check. Oh. All of a sudden, the static night vision camera we'd set up in the chancel turned off by itself. And right before this, Eddie and I heard some movement near it. It's just been turned off. <laughs> it's just been turned off. There's no. Yeah. Having a little game in here. 
There is a sleep mode on the camera if it's not used for a certain amount of time. However, when I checked the power switch, it had actually been moved to the off position, meaning it physically been touched. What's also strange is that just before I went in to inspect the camera, Eddie's static camera caught this faint EVP saying don't go prying in there. Could it be that one of the spirits here is trying to hide something in the chancel? You had me fooled. That's freezing in here. Yeah. That's the icy in front of me. You in here with me, Reverend Kendall? You make a noise for me in here? Yeah, that was very peculiar with that camera. That's, I've never, never seen that before. I've had batteries go, but I've never had anything turn off. <laughs> it's not focusing. Not focusing. Yeah. Ooh. That's a possible voice. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I just heard that was by the door. Yeah, at the back, wasn't it? Andy. Yeah. My head is seriously starting to hurt now. Sitting oh, there. My head is really starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt. Yeah, on one side, like right behind the eyebrow. Really? Left eye? It's no, it's on my right eye. Oh. But normally when I get a headache or a migraine, it's on the left side. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's really just like a strong right along the brow line. Is that you giving us all a headache? Do you want to take this? Yeah. Oh, I feel really like dizzy. This is my friend's gone. Yeah, we're dizzy. Yeah. I'm going to do an idea. Step outside for a little while. It just feels like the room is spinning. Like, I'm really holding on to this pew because I don't want to fall over. I just want to get this. It's definitely in that front. Yeah, so also my, my headache got a lot worse when yeah. we went, well, when I sat in that bit. See you looking. Stood there looking at me and just turned around and walked 
Are you standing over there with Sophie? Do you make a noise in that area? Yeah. Like, are you going to leave? Well, I really don't feel welcome in it at all. Uh -huh. Do you want Sophie to Just now? Hey? Just just now? Yeah. Did you hear it? I didn't hear it, no. You did? <laughs> that was loud. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I the voice we had just recorded was also captured on Eddie's static night camera and comes across much louder here which locates the origin of the voice somewhere towards the back of the nave, a place where no one was standing at the time. Is that you, Reverend, who's standing over there by Sophie? Just like that. <laughs> As the night drew on, we eventually decided to end the investigation and were amazed at some of the things we had experienced on this visit. A few months later we returned to the church, this time with James. Eddie had told us that paranormal activity even occurs here during daylight hours, so we thought we would try another small investigation. So we've come back to Santon Church today for a daytime visit. Like I say, Eddie did mention that activity does take place in the day. Uh, one of the more prominent things he says happens is the door opens by itself or the latch will um, start moving. I have to say, when we came at night, that was probably one of the most intense investigations I've done for a long while. We had so much stuff happen. We had a lady talking at the back. We, could have, we had smells of lavender, as if someone wearing lavender perfume was walking around. Camera turned off by itself, we had all kinds of stuff. Um, you getting anything like that walking in now? It's really, it's strange. I feel really like comfortable. Relaxed. It did smell quite like musty when mm. we walked in, but obviously it smelled church. But yeah, you feeling anything walking in here? Kind of, but only because it's sort of like a new place. But yeah. Yeah, I think there's, yeah, it's like that background sort of vibing of yeah. possibly something. I think there's people coming in church. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, filming was cut short due to other people visiting the church, but once they had left, we decided to begin trying to communicate with the ghosts of Santon Church once again. Make a noise. There is a fly in here at the moment, if you can hear buzzing. Yeah. Reverend Kendall, are you with us? Give some kind of a sign you're here. You hear your voice? I thought I heard like, um, you know when someone, if someone was in here and they were talking, they had a really bassy voice, and then if we were outside, that same like sound you yeah. heard them talking, I thought I heard that. So we were, we were hearing all sorts last time. This box in my hand, please. Perhaps tell us your name. There's the sound of the car outside. My thing's just glitched up. Can, um, what do you mean? It's not working. It's, it's, it's not, it's just nothing's happening. On that, that middle bit up there, between those two windows, that just lit up white. I was wondering if maybe that was reflected from a car, but I think the car... Are you affecting there. my recorder at the moment? So, can you stop doing whatever you're doing, please? It won't even turn off. Yeah, it won't turn on or off. We can't say for sure what was causing my digital recorder to malfunction, although it is quite unusual, as in all the years I've owned it, I've never ever experienced something like this before. Could it be an entity trying to communicate with us, or is it nothing more than a technical malfunction? This box I've got here, when you come towards this, make the lights flash. Bring your energy around it. I'm sure you remember me and Sophie coming here a few weeks ago. Just come back to try and talk to you, try and communicate with you. Can we hear your footsteps? Can you walk up the aisle? Not quite the same feeling as when we came last time. But I mean, it was still light when we got here, wasn't it? Yeah, Get, it was like sunset. Yeah, dusk. Yeah. But it did feel different then. It doesn't feel so... You give us some kind of a sign, Reverend Kendall, or the lady who we saw here last time, we got in contact with. I can't work this out, how this is just stopped. I've never had that happen before, ever. What, like it's completely froze? Push whatever buttons you like. <laughs> Alright. Is anybody in here? I know we heard a lady here last time. Can you come and speak to me, please? Could you tell me your name, please? Lavender again, is it? <laughs> Try this on the. Yeah, go for it, yeah. If you are in there, that box that James has just put on the cross, could you come towards that and try and make the lights flash? Try and touch it, bring your energy around it. 
or even knock it off if you can. What are you thinking, Sophie? I don't know. It's just feeling pretty... nothing, really. I just can't believe the difference from last time, really. I know. It was as soon as we got here, the stuff started up. Despite our best efforts, Santon Church wasn't producing the same results we'd experienced at our night visit, so we decided to end the investigation. So generally speaking, after an investigation, we don't really sit down um, and discuss to the camera what we call. But because there was quite a lot of stuff that went on at the church in Santon, um, it's definitely somewhere I think we'll go back to in the future. I thought we'd sort of uh, go through a few bits and just explain our opinions of, of what sort of happened there. Now, first of all, Eddie told us about the EVP, the apparitions, the poltergeist activity, all of that kind of stuff that took place in that church. And I don't know about you, but I... I had no reason not to believe him, but at the same time, when people yeah. make big claims like that, you never know how true it all is. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, when it, when someone says that somewhere is so active and so full on, you kind of think, well, is it really? Are yeah. you sure? But going there and actually experiencing it was... Ten, ten yeah, minutes in? Literally ten minutes in and stuff was just happening. Hearing voices from yeah. the back of the church. We've heard voices before of our own ears, really loud, as yeah. if someone's talking. Um, and since we heard it at that abandoned factory... I've always wanted to record that, and I think at Sound in Church we finally managed to do that. Um, I've had a th think about what could be causing that woman's voice at the back of the church, and honestly, I've got no idea. Um, I thought animals... We even, as soon as we heard it, one, I can't remember if it was you or me, but we both went out, and then I think I went round one way and you went round the other yeah. to see if anyone was there. And there was no yeah, one no there. one outside. No. Um, it, honestly, and the more and more you listen to it, the more and more you realise it is an actual woman voice yeah. it's not um you know it's not the sound of a creaky door or something it's actually got vocalization yeah and i think well we, we couldn't really decipher what it was saying but you've got to remember that church has been there for hundreds of years so i wonder if it's possibly maybe old english or something and we're not understanding yeah obviously because it's very different to modern day english i just say for like second hand validity validity of that one i was actually with you guys on that yeah. investigation so i didn't hear it in my ears but um i had the record i think i heard a recording back yeah 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 and yeah, so I can attest there's something definitely there, yeah. audio wise. Second thing that I thought was really strange that happened was when the camera got turned off. Now, I mentioned it to a few people who weren't actually there, and they've said, Does your camera not have a sleep mode or anything like that? The camera does have a sleep mode, and if it's just sitting there not doing anything, it will shut itself off. But it has, if it's recording, that sleep mode won't kick in, and the camera is recording right up until it turned off. And the other thing I found interesting was. To turn this camera off, you've actually got to switch this little button around at the back. Um, and it, you know, it takes a bit of doing, you've got to push a button and turn it the switch. Quite, it, we, there's been times when I've tried to, you, well, I've used it, and, I, and I'm going, look, I can't turn it on, yeah. I can't turn it off, Luke, <laughs> yeah. do it for me. So, so it takes a lot of push to do it. Something's physically come and touched this camera, and again, it's another thing I can't find any explanation mm -hmm. for. And it was, I think it was after... We, the camera turned off. I remember going into the front of the church and I remember it felt ice cold in there. It was. It was freezing cold in there. I do remember that. And for some reason, I remember we caught an EVP. It was almost, always when we went to the front of the church, there seemed to be something not wanting us in, the, in that front bit. What it was, um, we don't know, but it certainly felt like whatever was there was trying to keep us away from there. Now, the final thing I want to mention is the sort of figure you saw, the man that you said was looking at you. Yeah, I was sat um, in the pews opposite like the entrance door and it i swear there was a man quite a short man i'd say, I'd say about five foot five five foot six kind of my height um with like a brown or dark cloak over him um and he was just sitting there watching me with his hands like in his lap lap in front of him and he was just watching me really weird but that's the thing it's strange because none of the cameras obviously picked it up and mm. no one else saw anything there but what makes that interesting is something I've heard about the church is that women are usually the target of the activity. And it's almost like he was showing himself to you yeah. in your own mind. Yeah, I was going to say, did you see it actually bit like there in, yeah. in the environment? I mean, or was it, it sort of like it was out the corner of my mind, but then I, I turned to look 
and right. I could I could still see him stood there. Okay. So it was it was definitely. So I think that was definitely like say him him trying to get. Yeah. It, but it, it was it was a good I think like sort of five ten. Minutes oh yeah, it was a while. Because. Oh, it's I kept, yeah, I kept trying oh. to debug it and thinking, is it my eyes yeah. playing tricks on me? And it genuinely wasn't. That's so. what I was going to ask. Was it just like a mental image you got no, like, of it being there? Or you actually was, like saw it there the whole time? It was like someone was actually stood there. Right. Like, like a, a physical, like, you know, if it'd be like you or I, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. you know, your Luke was just stood there. But, yeah. It was I didn't know about that. I hadn't heard yeah. that story. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, on the day visit, we didn't get an awful lot, really. We got... An EVP on the camera yeah. um, and that was about it. Now we know that there's a lot going on at that church it's definitely somewhere that I think we've got to keep going back to again and again and again until we mm. try and you know yeah. hopefully get to the bottom of what's really going on there. Yeah I still want to do a night thing there because I haven't been there at night yet. Yeah yeah, yeah definitely within the next year we'll yeah. be back in that church I think and we'll do something else. <laughs>